20X3X uh, with a video on how to load the Nextian screen graphics. There are basically two ways of doing this. One by using the TFT file and you just load that straight onto a blank SD card. The SD card needs to be formatted in FAT32. So format your SD card in FAT32 and drag that file straight onto the SD card. Then you put the SD card into the SD card slot on the uh, back of the screen, power the screen up with your uh, five volts and let it do its do. But we're gonna be using the HMI file, the top one. So what you need to do is open up your Nextian editor, uh, which I will be doing now. Actually Nextian editor, the go up into the top corner where it says open. Open up where you've got the script, the file. Click open. And it will open up the file. And here is the file. Don't touch anything in there apart from a few things. Um, yeah, that's been about it really. So you don't need to do anything. So all we've got to do now is you need to go to, well, first of all, if you're using a 2.8 inch, then you need to go up to there and you need to choose that file there. You've got to choose what type of screen it is. So you choose that one by clicking on it there. But I'm using a 2.4 inch. So you highlight that and then you go down to the bottom and say, okay. And we now go just to upload. So we're, all we're gonna do there is go to upload and you will see this, it starts to compile a bit of stuff here and you go to OK. Firmware will be upgraded. You want to go OK. And you'll see the screen. Let's move this off and get it in focus and so you can see it. Here we go. Right, you've got to wait for that bit there. See, it's going 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's move it away. Hard to get this in focus. There we go. It's in focus. Right, wait for that to be done. That, by the way, is connected straight into the back of my USB socket on the computer. So you put your TTL to USB to TTL converter in there. We're just powering up the screen graphics. I'm going to do this one first. So we're nearly up to 60%. Won't take long. If you do it via the USB card, it goes really quick, but it's really fiddly to just keep putting USB card in, in, out, in, out. By doing it this way, you can keep messing around with the editor until you get it right to how you want it and just keep, so you can leave it in situ. Keep doing it, no, don't like that. Go mess around with it again. Yep, yeah, got it right. And then once you've done it, save the file. Right, that's done. So it's now saying done, successful. There we are. That's the new screen graphics done. So that is on how to do it via using the HMI file. Very easy way to do it. Uh, and then all we got to do then is unplug that USB and stick it back in your hotspot in the USB socket on here on the Pi. And your job done. Ready to go. 7.3s. Hope that was a good video.